Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Every Friday I answer your questions about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, and today I have a couple of questions. So let's start with the first one. Hey dear, I'm searching for how can I upload videos on YouTube that get HDR mark? How? In order to upload HDR videos, like let's say the videos that you make with your iPhone, right? And you wanna upload them straight from your iPad. It's very important, you cannot do this with the app. You have to delete the YouTube app. You're not able to upload it via the app. You have to upload this via the Chrome browser, for example, and then log into your Google, uh, to your YouTube account. But if you have the app open, every time you try to upload a video, it will open the app and you can't do this at the moment with the app itself. So if you want to do this on the iPad, then delete the app. And I get it. I don't do this either because I have the app on it. Or go to your laptop and then do it straight on the laptop. I've been using iPad 12.9 with M1 with original keyboard magic case, and I can't use this shortcut. All other shortcuts work fine. Tried relocating the keys, but nothing helped would be great. That's interesting. So he's talking about this video here. I made a video where you can swap clips very fast in between. And I double checked that now if maybe something is wrong on my end or something changed, but it still works. If you hit shift, command, comma, I can go to the left or shift, command and point, I can go to the right. So nothing, nothing changed, I can still do this. What kind of like bugs me is that you said you even re-changed the locations because in this video, I said it wrong. I said option, command and comma, but on the screen I showed shift command and comma and dot so if you use shift command and comma and dot it will work by default this is nothing that i changed this is in davinci resolve as a default layout but if you want to check out how to change this you can come in here shift command comma then i see here the command swap clip towards left or if you want to now search for the command you can search for swap clips and then we'll see here swap clips towards left swap clips towards right. Oh yeah, one thing that could be the problem, let's say in the cut page, for example, does this work in the cut page? Shift, command, comma. It doesn't work in the cut page. So maybe your problem was that you were not working in the edit page because that only works in the edit page. So I can only do the swaps in the edit page. Congrats on 250 videos. Thank you so much for all the very information, informative videos. I have a question. So you have a quick editor keyboard, but not have seen any videos, reviews on using the, it on the iPad. Your thoughts on using it. I was thinking about getting it for the iPad, but it's still is it really quicker? That's it's a good question. So yeah, first I have to be honest, I haven't done my homework yet. I still want to make a video showing you all of this, but I haven't used the speed editor as often as I wanted to use it. But that doesn't mean that the speed edit editor isn't amazing. So every time when I play around with it, there's a couple of functions that is faster than my keyboard layout. But if you are asking me at the moment, is it actually fast and replacing my keyboard shortcuts, which I talked about a lot in my masterclass here on my channel, I have everything on my left hand, right, with the pen, I would now at the moment say no not really I think but there's one thing okay first wait for the video in the future because I will make a couple of tests so even my opinion now could change if I use more because we all are how can I say that we are used to something, you know, and when we learn something, it's very hard to learn something new. We really have to push ourselves through. And that's the problem that I have right now. Sometimes on days where I edit, I just want to done, I want to speed, I like, I have to finish my video. And I haven't dedicated myself to edit my daily videos with the speed editor. I'm very honest. Every time I'm like, oh shit, I still have to edit something. I go in and I'm got used to this. 250 days, I created a habit using my shortcuts. So I'm so much faster than using the speed editor at the moment. But that could change, it depends on how you use it. So many of my shortcuts you can do with the speed editor as well. Where I see a big benefit with the speed editor compared to my workflow is on the speed editor itself, I don't have it with me right now, we travel. On the speed editor, you can very fast change between timeline and source material. So let's say if you have a project where you have a lot of source material, then I think that the speed editor is already more advanced than the way I do it. But then at the same time with the pencil, I can be wherever I want, right? So, but there is a couple of features there that make you fast. Now, my answer is now considering, are you really quicker? I think it depends on what you do. For example, my daily videos at the moment, many times I have like three, four clips. I record everything, maybe two cameras, that's it. So that means I don't have to spend a lot of time in the source bin. I actually drag and drop my stuff to the timeline and then I just 
go through the raw cut and do very fast cuts with ripple trim backward, forward and this kind of things. And for that, the speed editor isn't faster. Actually, my pencil is faster than the speed editor. I like the jog wheel, but it's not as precise as my finger is. So that's why I say for that type of work, my workflow is faster. And when I travel, I don't even have the space to put the speed editor in, even if the speed editor is fast and small. But for my workflow, I guess my way will still be faster or I probably would have already switched right but again take it with a salt of grain i'm not judging the speed editor i like the speed editor every time when i use it there are still so many functions that i haven't really discovered yet like a lot of things that you don't have to program right my way of working with it you have to program your keys and you have to figure out what is your way of editing if you do the same like i do just raw cuts all the time, not too many B-roll stuff, just cut, 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 cut and be fast, then probably you don't need the speed editor. But if you work with bigger projects, then I guess that the speed editor will be handy. And never forget, if you have one, I mean, I made a video about the speed editor, right? When you buy a speed editor, you also get the studio version, at least for the laptop, not for the iPad, but for the laptop. And if you want to have the studio version, then I think it's a no-brainer. That's also the reason why I got it. I can make a couple of videos with this, and then I have it always as a secondary device. And you can have it sit next to your iPad and use both both, right? So I wouldn't say that this is a bad decision to buy one. I would actually say that this is definitely a good decision. But of course, if you're asking about speed, I think if you make your keyboard shortcuts and the pencil towards your workflow style, it is very hard to compete against that. As the app function, I know iPad mini 6. Does the DaVinci Resolve app work on the iPad mini 6? Yes, I saw videos. It works, maybe not as fast because you don't have an M1 or M2 in it, but it works. And it's a very small screen, of course. <laughs> then the next one is even in Portuguese. I can't really pr uh, pronounce this, but I translated that. I was able to use the Portuguese version and just switch to the pages and names with the shortcut. So probably what he's doing Doing, like he switched to the Portuguese language of DaVinci Resolve, which is amazing. It works. Cool. Thank you. Next one. I love you, bro. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Next one. Dude, did I already say I love you? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know, you just have to make videos and people start loving you. That's kind of interesting. Does that work with the relationship to a woman? Is it possible to add Google Photos? So this was in my video when I talked about the cloud services because you can add here in the Files app. In the Files app, you can add Drive and Dropbox. You just come up here to the three dots and say Edit Sidebar. And then if this is not visible, you can basically just activate that here. Can you add Google Photos? No, you can't do this to the Files app. But a very interesting question. If you look, for example, in Google, a workaround could be the following. How to move Google Photos to Google Drive directly? Step one, log into Google Drive, blah, 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 and click check automatically put your Google Photos into a folder in my drive. So if you work with a lot of your photos on your Google Drive or Google Photos, that article could be an option. I personally wouldn't do it because even if we can work here on the Dropbox and the drive and download stuff, it downloads it. You're not working on the cloud, you're downloading it. So if you download it anyway, you can also download from Google Photos all the photos that you want and they will end up here in your photos section and then you can start working with that, right? So I wouldn't bother too much because there was a reason why, you know, at the beginning, Google Drive and Google Photos was one and then later they created the own app for it and they separated both. So I wouldn't try to combine them again. What the fuck is he doing? I'm back. Okay, that's when you live in a city. We are in Berlin right now. So next question. Seems like the workaround doesn't work anymore. The same error happens in the still section now. Do you also have an issue with the latest versions? I'm guessing the only other workaround is to probably exporting the project with the Power Bin Grade. So what he is talking about, this was a video where I talked about how you can export your Power Grades. So if you have a Power Grade, this is something that you can use in all projects. And if you go here and you try to export, you get an error message. And the workaround in the video was that I showed you just use the stills. You can actually do like here, grab a still. So whatever I did here, like, okay, wait a second, let's, let's do this. I use my Power Grade here. Doesn't make sense for this video now, but this is my Power Grade. I can now go in here and say grab still. And then I come to the stills right here. I have to first open this folder, grab stills. I have to select the stills folder. And now here, this is the new one. I can go and do export with this one. And that works. And this is exactly what I showed in this video here, import export power grade. And it still works. I tested that. I don't really know what you did. I guess you were still in the wrong folder or something. And you can always export that. So, and to import that one, of course, same like with export, you have to come to the stills folder 
and then say here import and in order to import that one you have to select the one that we just saved here for example the test one two three four five six eight nine and the bigger one not the drx the dpx one and then say open and boom i have it and now i can also just drag and drop that to my power grade so it still works and that's exactly what I showed in that other video. Aren't there more or any plug and play fonts like we can see in Canva in DaVinci? Of course, DaVinci Resolve is possible to add new fonts and the way you do this, I made a video about this one too. Here, how to add fonts in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So definitely check out and watch this video, then you know how to add fonts. I also give a very great website where you can get free fonts, you can use that and browse that one. If you have paid fonts that you purchased, you can bring them in as well. So it works. That's it for this week's Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. If you have more questions about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad every Friday, I answer your questions. So leave me your questions here in this video and we'll see us in the next video. I hope this was helpful. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding -ding in the bam-bang gong and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.